somebody said something about oh, about me not knowing about YouTube and stuff. Like I said, I knew about YouTube because that's what Grim lifestyle was. Like I was around her. She spoke about it. She told me about people that would make videos about her or videos that she would make. No, you done fucked up, Tom. Yeah, you done fucked up, Grams. You should have never told Ari about me. Had you not told Ari about me, she would have never reached out. We've been talking in the DMs for a couple of days and she's confirmed damn near everything I've ever, ever accused you of doing. Confirmed that you're a narcissist, all of that. I mean, Lily and Avery already said it and it was obvious. But for you to be turning the tables and trying to play victim and making this young lady out to be the main problem is kind of fucked up. You're spinning the narrative. You are projecting everything that you're saying is literally the opposite. So you're saying that she's obsessed. She's a stalker. Who's stalking who, Grams? <laughs> Anyhow, she did give me some information that I'd like to share with you. And just a little reminder, Grams, the same way you're trying to embarrass her with these little clips, she has many clips of you. We go home tonight. We go home tonight. I'm going to just leave that right there. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. So this young lady came out. She did an interview with Nick and Carla. Nick and Carla, you guys rock that shit. I adore you guys. Um, they did an interview with Ari. And Ari basically was pretty much respectful in a sense, like she didn't say too much, but she said enough just for us to know that Grams is a bit shady. You know, she used the girl and um, it just didn't work out. But had you not paid attention to the interview, the girl walked away from Grams. But Grams keeps telling everyone that she walked away from the girl. It makes absolutely no sense how people can't see that because I'm reading the comments and more so on Graham's end, where people think that this young lady is a clout chaser um, and she was obsessed and stalking Graham's. No, no, no. If you need me to read the text, I'll read it for you. Friday, November 24th at 425 a.m. Graham's writes, laughing my fucking ass off. Ayo, man, where the fuck you at, bruh? I've been outside my crib for 15 minutes. Never a fucking again. Man, where you at? Because I know you're not that sleep. So anyways, we'll get into what was going on. But this night, Grams happened to go to work late night shift. She was driving Ari's car. <laughs> Ari said, if you're going to take the car, I'll take your keys and I'll be waiting for you at your crib. Ari ends up falling asleep. She doesn't hear. Um... The next morning, Grams is cussing her out. She didn't really react too well with being cussed out. So she kind of like ignored Grams, if you can see, for a couple of days. There was no communication between the two. So November 24th, then Ari writes her on Monday, November 27th. Ari says, good morning. First, I'll start by apologizing for being irresponsible with my actions. I have very few of your belongings if you care to get them. If you could return my key, I'd appreciate that. No hard feelings. Wish you well and happy holidays. Heart. And she says, thanks. Grams responds and says, you're good and happy holidays to you. I'll be home if you got time to stop by and drop them off. Ari responds, I'll stop by before class. And Graham says, okay. I don't know anything about any other conversation after this, but Grams, you're saying that this girl is obsessed. Can you please prove it? Please do that. Because according to her, she hasn't spoken to you in months. But you're spinning the narrative, making it seem as if the other way around you left her. No, it seems as if she ignored you for days after having you locked out of your own crib while she was chilling with somebody else. <laughs> Job, the karma. My goodness. But anyway, it sounds as if and it looks as if she was the one that walked away from you, Grams. I just had to make that clear. Babe, I miss you so much. I hate these people. I gotta work third shift. 
Because I want to suck your penis. Belongs the vet girl. You just mad. Not from what I hear, you hoe. What? Fuck you. Bitch, you don't know how to suck dick anyway. Get your black ass in the house. Grimes posts this in response to Ari doing an interview with Nick and Carla. But the reason Ari went and did the interview with Nick and Carla was because Grams contacted her mother. Grams contacted her sister. And not only did she do that, she started to triangulate between them. If you guys don't know what that is, please look it up. The narcissist that she is triangulated between the family members trying to split them apart. So with that being said, this young lady was pissed. So she she posted a couple of warnings that most of you probably missed on her Instagram. You would think that once Ari started posting on Instagram that Grams would be worried and probably shut the fuck up. But no, she kept going and going and going. And so Ari said, fuck it. <laughs> and to be quite honest with you, I think what pushed this was the fact that Grams reached out to Ari's mom. And the reason Grams reached out to Ari's mom is because she was triggered by the one and only Grams. Oh, motherfucker, dead ice, huh? Look, bitch, ain't even no ice. You, you, you standing in water. One splash is, is over with. Your new bitch just dropped all the juice, all the gems. Tap in with her before you start tapping in with me. Because you never know what a motherfucker that really gave proof and receipts about your ass. And I'm a nigga. Hey, look. <laughs> Look, <laughs> tread lightly because niggas got receipts around this bitch. Niggas got receipts from the new hoe. <laughs> that ain't with you no more. Because you was stuck on Lily, though. <laughs> For those of you who do not know, this is Tootie Too Real. I think she's so cute. She um is always with uh B. They're like road dogs. I love when I when they do their little lives together on Instagram. When they're eating, they go to restaurants. I love watching them together. It's like a dynamic duo. But anyway, Tootie, I guess, has gotten into it with, I'm going to say OG, based off of what I'm watching. I don't know why OG is coming for Tootie. MB, I don't know why that they're even a subject, especially if... They've so-called moved on. So somebody please fill me in as to why OG keeps coming for B and Tootie. Especially if this was supposed to be done and over with. We don't really talk about Lily and Graham's situation anymore. People don't even talk about Avery and Graham. So it's like, what's going on here? Why are you guys still watching? Why are you watching them if you don't fuck with them? Is the question. So like I was saying, that video triggered Graham's. Grams then reaches out to Ari's mom and Ari's sister in attempts to ruining Ari's relationship with her family and to somewhat stop Ari from telling the tea, whatever it is. She got nervous. She didn't know what the fuck Ari was going to say. But my question is, why is it that it took for Tootie's video to trigger you and not this? So on December 15th, Ari goes out to a club and she runs into Daddy B. Daddy B, I guess, was chilling with her peoples and she approaches Daddy B and confesses to sitting outside of her apartment with Grams while Grams was stalking. Daddy B posts this video on her Instagram and, you know, she's just <laughs> doing what any other nigga would do. I got your bitch type shit. But anyways, Grams clearly wasn't bothered by that. I don't know. Maybe she didn't see it. And Grams, if you didn't see it, here it goes. What's going on with me? Stop playing on my top like that, nigga. You know what's going on. Man, that's man, we. You did. You did. You did. Baby, not the little one. Not the little one. Say it again. Baby, not the little one. All right. Let's get back to this. November 24th at 1.57 a.m., Ari sends Grams this video. Grams responds at 4.25 a.m. And that's where all shit went left. And like I said, that video that I made, that was, you seen the date on that was on that night that I didn't let her in the house. Yeah. 
And I even apologized. I sent an apology message. It was days later, but I apologize for me being careless and not responsible. Since Grams is spinning the narrative that this girl is a nasty slut, I just want you all to know that two can play this game. And Ari said, you want to drop videos about me talking about I want to suck your strap, which in reality, she stated she's never done that. She doesn't desire to do it. I guess she was just drunk and she was talking. You know, a lot of us do that. But Grams, you should really be embarrassed because you've gone down on her multiple times. She's never gone down on you, nor has she ever sucked your strap. So with that being said, let's see what you had to say to Miss Ari. Hey, girl. Why you send me to your voicemail? You know I'm trying to come over there and eat that thing from the back. Stop playing with me and let me bite that butt. After Ari goes on her first interview with Nick and Carla, Grams then responds by posting text messages between herself and Ari's ex. So Grams posts this and it says, Nigga tried to warn me. And I guess Ari's ex is going off talking about how she's trash. Um, stay away from her. Um, and one of the worst things that she mentioned was Ari's private area not smelling too good. So Grams is saying Ari's ex warned me yet again. She's posting all this and it looks terrible for Ari. Ari is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're doing this. My ex was just saying this because she was mad. So Ari contacts her ex to clear the air. And this is what her ex had to say. So Liz, I'm, I'm just gonna make this quick and make it short, all right? I said this shit about Ari because I was pissed off. I was pissed off because she went to a dump ass, ugly ass, old lady ass thug. That's why I said this shit. Cause the bitch was trying to inbox me like we was cool or cool ass shit. So that's the reason why I said this shit. Like none of this shit was really true. I was just saying this shit because I was laughing. But when I see Graham, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of her. Cause she keep bragging me in the mix when I don't. I don't deal with this YouTube shit. I don't deal with this social media ass shit. Like I don't have time for that shit. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell Ari, because so clearly y'all hear the music, I'm at the club. But I had to do all this extra shit just to clear this up, just for her, I'm about to get some after this. But I'm just saying, I just said this shit because I was mad. I don't know what the fuck Graham saw, like, people screaming, trying to me the message and shit. But I only said this shit because I was mad. That was it. Okay, okay. Like, so none of that shit was true, fool. Like, none of that shit was true. Okay, okay. I'm trying to fuck right now. That's I know it ain't true. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a whole other story you guys if you want i just got finished screen recording avery's new booze ex-fiance live on instagram she was going off her ex-fiance was in the chat and they were going back and forth she thinks that avery was in there with the troll account Avery's best friend was in there. If you guys want, I will upload it. But I need you guys to hit the like button or let me know down below in the comment section that you want me to upload it. I'm not going to upload it if nobody's going to watch it, period. I'm just not going to do that. Um, I noticed that my viewers for the Graham situation, you know, it's not the same as it used to be. So if you guys are tuning back in, know that I, you know, Go back and forth with stories. So if you're interested, let me know. Like I said, I will post it. But I just wanted to touch on this real quick. Grams states that she is so unbothered. She doesn't give a fuck about her ex moving on. She doesn't give a fuck about Ari. She doesn't give a fuck about Lily, right? Then why is it that the moment you see Lily happy with B and they're flourishing within their relationship, even though you tried to destroy it, why is it that you become depressed? You've shown your depression on the lives during the times where Lily was extremely happy. Why is it that after Avery posts her new boo, a video on Instagram, you guys, it's a little raunchy, so I'm not going to show it. Why is it, Grams? that you made this post right here. Grams then makes a shady post on Instagram after Avery reveals her new boo. I'm a hard drug to get over. Yeah, you could go up the street for a quick fix, but I bet that shit ain't hitting like me. Now y'all, does this not give you press, 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 press? Grams, you seem bothered. 
You don't want to see anybody else happy. And it's just a fact. You make it too easy for us. But hey, I'm just providing the receipts, y'all. Grams literally posted this the day that Avery revealed her new boo. And like I said, I didn't want to tell on myself, but I was laid up with somebody else anyways before I even got to her house and she wasn't able to get in. So, Oh, so that's where you fell asleep at? Yeah. <laughs> no, so, no. I went, I, I got to her house, but once I got there, I passed out. Like, mm-hmm. So this was after you had been laid up with somebody? I went to her house to make sure I could let her in, but I was gone. I couldn't get up. Child. I mean, but it's sounds like they on the same type time. Yeah. They, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't official. And that's yeah. why I said that I had my reckless times and my dangerous stuff. And then she posted messages with my ex, Jordan. And... I had to throw this clip in just as another reminder, you guys. This girl was done with grams. She did not care. She was hanging out with somebody else. The same way that Graham said that she checked out of the relationship when, when she was with Lily, and the same way Avery checked out of the relationship with Grams is the same way Ari checked out. The girl is clearly unbothered. She has not contacted you since that day that she left you hanging and locked out of your apartment. She has not contacted you since that text message where she asked for you to return her house key. So, yeah, with that being said, stop spinning the narrative. It's just sad to see Graham's just posting over and over about psycho exes. This post in particular was quite funny. Graham says, let a motherfucker talk long enough and they'll eventually hang themselves. And that is exactly what you did, Graham's. Grams literally hung herself and Nick and Carla just displayed it for the world to see by posting Grams swearing that she never did such and such. And then all of a sudden, you know, they back it up with evidence that she actually did. So Grams stop swearing to God. He don't like that. And Grams is clearly projecting on this post. Want to make somebody mad? Accept what they've done to you and go and be happy. People hate when they can't destroy you. And then Grams writes, cut them off and ask no questions and watch them lose their shit. This is so hilarious, Grams, because you clearly lost your shit when you saw that when you tried to destroy Lily and Daddy B's relationship, it failed. That destroyed you. You lost your shit. And Ari was sitting front row and center watching it all go down. If you keep poking a girl, she's going to keep releasing receipts. So I personally suggest that you just shut the fuck up. Oh, I couldn't leave this one out. So Grams has been posting, um, ask me anonymous questions or whatever. Somebody said, when can I suck your... And they're clearly making fun of Ari because of that video. And Grams responds, laughing my fucking ass off. You're going to have to suck it through the book bag, baby, because the last person I let suck it went crazy. Now, Grams, you know damn well that girl never sucked anything on you except for your tongue. So for you to even go there is just ridiculous. It's like, grow the fuck up. You talk about her needing to grow up. You need to grow up. You're 10 years her senior, I think. <laughs> like, the fuck? I've never even gave her hits for your life. She would ask me to and say that one of her exes used to do that. But I just myself can't see myself doing that to no strap. I'm just being honest. I really just can't. Oh, you're talking about sucking a strap. I thought you were talking about, okay, eating like her out, not sucking her strap. Oh, she wanted you to suck her strap. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just. Oh, so you, but you have you given her head like on her actual vagina? No. Okay. Oh, okay. But she mainly wanted you to suck that, that plastic. The strap. Right, right, right. And then she said that I didn't even give it back. Why would, why would you even want it back to use it on somebody else? That's weird to me. You guys, I tried to make a quick video for you. It's been hours and I still haven't uploaded. So please forgive me. I had to throw that in just to confirm that girl never did what Graham said she did. And if you can see Graham's post, she's just talking about women being trash and women this and women that as if 
she's the victim and everybody else is the problem. Hopefully you guys could see what I'm saying when I say Grams is doing nothing but projecting. She's projecting everything that she truly feels onto other people. She's the one who is a stalker. She's the one who is obsessed. She is the one who is pressed. The young lady didn't want to give Grams the plastic because she just thought that that was gross. Like, why am I going to give you something that you've been using on me back so you can use it on somebody else? It had nothing to do with control or because she was obsessed. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I personally, ugh, I, I'd be grossed out by it too. Like, why you want to use something that you used on? I mean, shit, human people could wash that shit off, but I ain't, you ain't washing no plastic off and you reuse it. Nope, 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 not over here. Grams, you know you was really feeling that girl. You was feeling her, weren't you? <laughs> All right, this is day one with my boo at work. I technically haven't heard from her in almost two hours. I don't know how to feel, how to deal. If she's somewhere out here listening, I just want her to know I love her. Got him. <laughs> Yo, Aaron Finesco, you be trying to finesse bitches, but the shit always hits you back. Tenfold. Peace, y'all.